The first time watching Pacific Rim, I was blown away by the sheer scale of destruction from its several action set pieces. It, robots beating up kaijus in urban environments, no hold bards action, and bonus points for the Aussie representation with Eureka Striker. Now yes, I realize Pacific Rim isn't the first kaiju movie in history, but for me it was the first one I ever saw, and Gigabash is a game that seemingly promises to bring that sort of action and shrink it down into the palm of your hands, but can it reach the same heights? Gigabash is a fighting game that pitches you against other monsters in varied arenas like experimental power plants, ports, harbours and cities. You can pick from a varied menagerie of kaiju and supersized heroes to duke it out in the field of battle. There's a short single player mode focusing on some of the characters, but the real package comes in the fast and frantic multiplayer modes. These modes range from beating each other senseless to a Windjammers inspired mode which makes for a great night of laughs and frustrations whenever I'm teamed up against me. The game is easy to pick up with the simple style of controls, think Smash Brothers but simpler, that makes it a great game to play with gamers of all skill levels. Sometimes this can be a downside as button mashing is a viable strategy and it's hard to recover from an onslaught of quick attacks. You can go ultra by racking up enough energy which doubles your size, allowing you to dominate the competition. Only other ultra enemies can dwindle your health and it adds a bit of strategy to fights, knowing when to use your ultra to dominate early or save it to defend from another player. We had many laughs when someone went ultra running away as fast as we could. Silly moments like this make Gigabash a blast with friends and we had a solid multiplayer playtest of about 3 hours without losing interest and laughing all night. The game runs smoothly with all the action happening on screen and the attacks and animations look great and are entertaining. While the environments are fun to battle it out in, some environments can sometimes seem low detailed almost PS2 like in nature. That being said there are a lot of dynamic factors when battling such as a volcano erupting and slowly engulfing the map, or weather changes which help turn the tide of battle when you're in the thick of it. The characters have great detail and all play and feel different which is great, I just wish there was more selection. There was a Godzilla DLC available on launch, but it was a bit steep in price considering the price of the game itself, which was actually quite reasonable. While it may be light on characters, there's a lot of fun levels to unlock via progression as well as music and artwork which was a nice little touch. The one main problem with Gigabash is that there's just not enough of it. The lack of characters with half locked behind a Godzilla sized paywall stings worse than the energy ball to the face, and I'm unsure why the campaign only covers a few characters instead of all. It's not really a deal breaker as Gigabash is such a great party game. But for those solo players it might not be able to go the distance with your attention, even with bots on multiplayer modes. Gigabash for Nintendo Switch is a great game at a reasonable price point. It's fun, frantic and has silly moments that make you laugh out loud. Its single player options may run out of steam but with many levels to unlock and varied game modes for multiplayer, party play is a hit. There are certainly some shortcomings for a game featuring tall monsters, but these can be overcome by grabbing four controllers and hitting the town, quite literally, with some friends. So, what's it like? Gigabash for Switch is a cross between Pacific Rim and Super Smash Bros. I give it 68 out of 100.